Hey everyone, this is Zoe. And I'm Terps. And this is Gamescom 2016. Day one. Can't wait. So what are you up to today? I have a very exciting day ahead of me. I'm gonna head over to the Legion Cafe where I meet one of the developers from World of Warcraft and I'm gonna sit down, play games in the Legion Cafe. It's gonna be amazing. That sounds really cool. I doing? am heading over to the eSports Arena. I'm gonna chat to some of the players and see the Heroes Tournament over there. Then I'm heading on back to the Blizzard booth where I'm gonna see everything that's on offer to people coming to Gamescom this week. Well, everything, that includes a lot of things. So uh, a lot of things. imaginary clock says we, we better get, get going. Yeah, right. so let's I'll do that. Now over here, we've got Diablo, the original game, playable here in the most atmospheric of Diablo areas. Look, but this is what it's about. This is why we're here. Couch co-op, Diablo 3, playing with your friends and making new friends. We're just a few short weeks away from Legion actually releasing. And for those lucky enough to be here, you can rock up, roll a pre-made, and you can start playing Legion content now. You've got all these amazing stuff, all these great plushies. You've got a hogger, you've got a lurky, uh, you've got the uh, crimson whelpling. I think I could just take it, really. So close, I'm so close to it, but I can't have it. That is so cool. If you're really lucky when you come over here, sometimes, just sometimes, you might find someone like the lovely Miss Hafu. Hafu, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? So what are you doing here at Gamescom? I'm streaming Hearthstone. So I'm about to do the freeze cam. It's important to make sure that you don't look an idiot, okay? There's a lot of cameras on you. You need to bring your A game. For Heroes fans, Machines of War is playable here at Gamescom. That means Zarya, that means Alarak, that also means two StarCraft II themed maps. Hell, it's about time. The big bad himself, Mr. Angry, Alarak. He's not only the newest hero in Heroes, but he's also the newest commander in the StarCraft II co-op missions that are playable just over there. I'm here with PA, who is, of course, the medieval StarCraft II Marine. This is crazy, you've got a hole in your stomach. Yeah, a hole, I can control the lights, uh, the pattern of the LEDs, I can play music too. If you're new to StarCraft II, or maybe you just didn't bring a friend along like me, then you can queue up here and play Nova Cova Ops, or just a tutorial. What a packed week we have in front of us. We've got the Bastion animated short, the premiere, we've got the video games live concerts, we've got the costume and dance contest, we've got show matches across all of Blizzard's games. It's all happening here. Tune in for the full schedule over at gamescom.blizzard.com. Now, if you excuse me, I've wanted to do this since the very first BlizzCon, so... For the Horde! So Legion arrives on the 30th of August and here at Gamescom we are actually celebrating its imminent approach and I have no other than Ian Hasikosis from the development team with me. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And we're going to play some Demon Hunters now, aren't we're we? We're going to play some Demon Hunters. Oh man, I have wings. Where did they come from? Are you an overconfident player? Because I know I am. Occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. When I'm solo, yes. When I'm a raid leader, no. Being a raid leader brings out the conservative I'm player the and everybody. I'm doing every raid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, I wouldn't invite myself. You know, like, I'm, I'm one of those players who don't always read quest logs. But here it really got me interested because you also have, like, those scenes where, like, people 
actively talk to you. It's like they, they're more or less yelling exactly. in your face. We so have, you, you can't avoid them. Yeah, we, have, we have more more voiced lines than in any other expansion mm -hmm. by, a, by a large amount in Legion. We actually have what we call internally kind of a talking head that pops up on your screen with the voiced line to make it feel, you know, just more more immersive. We decided we wanted to make this the most mobile class that Warcraft had seen ever. Let's let you experience moving around wow like you never have before when you're playing a demon hunter. Yes. There, there are two major parts to the Legion plotline. Um, the first part that all players are initially focused on is well, we need to stop the Legion invasion. We need to seal the Tomb of Sargeras and the huge rift. We need to do that by traveling throughout the Broken Isles and reclaiming five pillars of creation. In the meantime, the, sort of the, the B plot, the side story, is what is up with Illidan? And what was he doing? Why is he so important to the Legion's plans? And, you know, as, as good stories tend to do, those two things are going to very much become interwoven. And I think our goal by the end of that really was to make sure that everyone understood Illidan. Everyone knew who they were dealing with and, you know, could grapple with what was going to come next. Am I going to cry? Is it touching? There are actually, there are a few touching moments, uh, okay. genuinely. Ah, you see that colossal infernal off in the distance? I think you can take that guy. Can't see what could go wrong. Me neither. Also, there's three of us, right? We got competent mm -hmm. help. Yep. Or yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, we have Lurky to help us, right? It's... Okay. He's only. I mean, he's like question mark. Yeah. That's but, I mean, easy, we're, right? Yeah. We're demon hunters, right? This All should right. not be a problem. You go first. Right. You sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> What's up guys, my name's Sloot, and my favorite game is World of Warcraft. And who's my favorite character? It's gotta be Illidan. You know why? Because he's just a badass. That's all the reason you need. Here's what's coming up this week. We've got intense eSport action from both Heroes and Overwatch, as well as show matches from Hearthstone, StarCraft II, and World of Warcraft dungeon runs direct on the Blizzard stage. I'm here with Bakery, the team captain from Team Dignitas. Uh, you've got the whole team here ready to dominate in the Heroes Fall Regionals, but you guys have already won it, haven't you? Well, we won the last regional, that's true, and that means we've already qualified for the big tournament at BlizzCon this year. So this is really just for the pride for our team. So you guys have already qualified for BlizzCon. I mean, the, the road to BlizzCon is just this this huge you know thing featuring all these sorts of things. What what does it mean for you? What are you most excited about? What are your hopes on the day? The actual tournament itself, it promises to be the best one Heroes has ever had. It's got by far the biggest prize pool. It's $1 million and it's the 12 best teams in the world there. So it's going to be a great experience. Amazing, amazing. Well, thanks again for taking the time to chat today. Uh, wish you best of luck in the tournament. I'm sure you're going to win. Uh, we'll see you next time. Cool, I'm here with James. So James, what do you do here normally? Normally, uh, I commentate video games, which is a lot of fun, and bu Gamescom's always super, super busy. You know, what, what would you say kind of sets it apart? What are its best bits? For me, like, the, the thing that really helps Heroes is the fact that it's, like, constant action. When we look at BlizzCon itself, do you have any picks? You know, are we going to see a team outside of South Korea maybe pick it up, or, or what, what's your thoughts? I don't know. South Korea, a good region. Going to ally wreck the place. That was well played. Well played. Well played. <laughs> so the Heroes Europe Fall Regionals are going to kick off now and continue on through till Friday. You can check them out over at twitch.tv slash blizzheroes. Shaping up to be a good one. Nice and really easy. And here comes the pop. That's what we were looking for the entire time. And Chris Closure is maybe even going to die. The Shiloh Tesla is just not enough. And there's Muradin. Welcome to the party. Hi, my name is Ammunition, and these are my top five heroes for Eichenwald. Zarya is a great choice for this map because of all the small corridors, which allow her to easily shield her teammates and bring together the enemies with her ultimate and allow her teammates to destroy them. 
Junkrat is probably my favorite hero to use on Eichenwald because his trip mine allows him to access the low rooftops. His trap also is great for surprising people as they're coming around corners and his grenades can ricochet off of all the small corners to surprise the enemy team. McCree is an excellent choice for Eichenwald because of all the small corridors and the tight corners which allow him to make very good use of his flashbang which can surprise enemies as they come around the corner. <laughs> May can make very good use of her wall in order to access some of the higher rooftops, and she can also do a great job of walling off the hallways, which prevents the enemy team from moving in one direction, and she can use her wall to funnel enemies toward her teammates. Farah is a good choice for this map because she has excellent mobility, which really allows her to take advantage of the low roofs, which she can easily boost over and she can use her fuel to easily hover all around the map and take advantage of all the positions which other characters might not be able to access. Rough day in the office? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long day. It's been action-packed. And amazing. Just, oh, I think amazing so was the word you were looking so for. So it's amazingly <laughs> action-packed. There's, there's almost too much to do. It's an incredible show. That's why it's spread over so many days. And tomorrow, I mean today was just day one. And tomorrow we got so much more coming your way. The Bastion show, the premiere, coming out, what is it, 6 p.m.? Yeah, 6 p.m. So make sure to head over to gamescom.blizzard.com where you can find all the information. And of course, you're going to see us there as well. So make sure to tune in again tomorrow for all the action. I'm going to go do my dailies, actually. I should probably do that. Oh, got to save yeah. Azeroth. Sorry. <laughs>